everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Share YouTube channel. My name is Alicia and I brought Annie along with me on our continual trip of trying to highlight some urban fishing hotspots in the GTA. Today we're at the Marie Curtis Park and we're going to try and show you some unique spots at the park to try and catch some fish. Marie Curtis Park in Etobicoke is a beautiful location open 24 hours with no admission cost. Lots of free parking from 6 a.m. to midnight the nearest bus stops are an 8 to 11 minute walk from the park entrance and there's also a bike share bike dock right by the entrance. The park has a public washroom, garbage and recycling bins on site, as well as shaded areas, a playground, lots of picnic tables and lots of open green space. The pier is the first area that we checked out and can be found just southwest of the public beach which is lifeguarded during certain hours of the summer. Be sure to check the City of Toronto website for more information. The pier is very easy to access, although water was very turbid for fishing that day. Seasoned anglers have been known to try this spot for salmon in the fall. This site has lots of wheelchair accessible trails along the Etobicoke Creek with various openings in the vegetation to allow for fishing. We traveled along the Etobicoke Creek looking for access points to get us a line. There are well established mature trees providing lots of structures on the bank shade for fish and opportunities to snag your line. So watch out! We found various wide openings, easily accessible to cast a line. There were also many smaller openings between the trees which require more attention when casting to avoid snags. You can follow the paths and find fishing locations all around the creek. Across the bridge there is additional green space, more parking, and fishable shoreline. We were here in June right after a rainfall and didn't catch much during our short trip. However, in Etobicoke Creek, you can expect to catch panfish, large and smallmouth bass, white sucker, brown bullhead, or carp. And during the fall, you could hook on to some Pacific salmon. Make sure you always check the regulations before you go fishing. This park is located in Fisheries Management Zone 16, also known as FMZ 16. Be sure to know the slot sizes and available species before heading out to go fishing. Since bass fishing season was not open yet when we were fishing here, we were using a bobber and worm setup for panfish. If you are fishing here anytime once bass season is open, we would recommend using Senko style bait or shallow running crankbaits to target largemouth bass. You could also try casting a balled up worm to the bottom in a spot where the current is slower to target brown bullhead. Have you fished this spot before? Tell us how your experience was in the comments. What did you catch and with what presentation? And if you come at the right time, sometimes if you can see in the far distance there, the ice cream truck is here. So I think we're done with this video. We're gonna go get a snack. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and tap that notification bell to keep more fishing content coming your way. If you like this video, you'll probably like some of the other ones we have where we're highlighting other urban fishing hotspots in the GTA. Make sure to check them out. We still have more to come. See you next time. Thank you.